This is for everybody that uh, changes a cam or a motor and they and they say that they can't stop anymore because they have no brake, they don't have vacuum. Uh, new brakes do help, of course, but if your old brakes on the G-Body, if your old brakes worked uh, and now you have no vacuum, all you need is an electric vacuum pump. Uh, this car here has no vacuum. It's always on the boost. Um, this is, I had changed this. It's really, it doesn't help too much, but it looks nice. It's just a, a dual diaphragm brake booster. Uh, the, the original OEM ones, they're bigger and they're flat. They're single diaphragm. They do work. This master cylinder, I think, is out of a Corvette, but I used the original master cylinder for 20-something years. Same thing with the, uh, the brake booster. I used the original one for many years. And... The hookup is it's simple. Well, this is your this is your vacuum line, which normally would go back to the back of your carburetor. You don't put it there anymore. I have I use a vacuum canister. It does help for stop and go traffic. It's not necessary, but it, it really does help. It stores up the vacuum. That's going into the brake booster. This line here is going into the um, electric pump, which I happen to have under the car down here it's two wires plus and minus that's it you're done and then that goes into your master cylinder or your vacuum canister i'm not your master cylinder the brake booster and uh or the vacuum canister and this one i mean it looks nice and new but this is well over 20 years maybe 25 years old uh it's been in different locations in the car and that's why it's clean because i keep moving i'm getting rid of this they make quieter ones nowadays these these do hum a bit but this, these electric vacuum pumps, they work. So if your brakes worked in the past, before you changed your cam, uh, one of these might help. Um, if you, you're going to do, do new brakes, do it 100%. But uh, these things, they work, and they give you vacuum.